You know me, SDMT. Let's get it, baby. But before we do, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on my notifications, man. Shout out to the gang, man, all y'all. Y'all that stay locked in, man. And let's get to it, man. Derek Henry's been going crazy, man. He's been going crazy, man. Carrying the Titans, man. Carrying them. I told y'all Ryan Tannehill wasn't all that. Ryan Tannehill was a mediocre to above average quarterback. You know what I'm saying? They gas him up like he's something special, but he's, he's really not. He's special because of Derrick Henry going crazy, opens up passing lanes when the defense is so worried about tackling that huge running back. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Derrick Henry's been going crazy, man. Derrick Henry, you know what I mean? The five straight 100-yard games so far, you know what I'm saying? Five straight. He's on a streak right now. You know what I mean? Three of them, he had three TDs. And we saw them beat a Buffalo Bills team, which is really good. That's a really solid team. And the only reason that offense kept them in that game was Derrick Henry raking off 70 yarders and just running all over them. The Bills just couldn't stop them. And that's the difference when you have that dominating force. He's one of the most dominating forces in the NFL, especially a non-quarterback. You know what I mean? We look at it. Ryan Tannehill, he had, you know what I'm saying, he was 18 of 29. He had 216 yards and one pick. That's horrible, you know what I mean? Your quarterback has those stats, you, you usually lose. You usually lose, no cap, but they got Derrick Henry, man. We look at it like this. A big chunk of those yards was that, you know what I mean, that fluke of a play that, uh, that bounced off the helmet that Julio Jones caught that. Julio Jones gets credit for that amazing play, but it definitely was a fluke. He wouldn't have had 200 yards passing if it wasn't for Julio saving the day. Now, let's get back to it, man. Right now, in six games, he's already at 783 yards. He's averaging 4.8 yards per carry. That's almost five yards per carry, and he has 10 touchdowns, man, and he's still tied with... Uh, Christian McCaffrey in Madden. Madden is goofy as hell. Anytime running back runs for 2K, they should be 99 at the beginning of the season. And then you see Derrick Henry going crazy, and they moved him up just so he's tied with Christian McCaffrey. With Christian McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey hasn't done much this year, man. Christian, Christian McCaffrey didn't do much last year or this year. So there's no excuse why Derrick Henry is not 99, damn near 100 in Madden. He's the most dominating force in a non-quarterback in the league, straight up. You know what I mean? There's no player, especially a running back, that impactful when it comes to winning or losing. You know what I mean? A lot of running backs get stats and they, they help their team. But Derrick Henry's one of the only players that takes over games, man. That Seahawks game, they were getting whooped. He starts breaking off runs, giving, changing that momentum. Defense makes some stops and he's breaking off more runs and they beat the Seahawks. We see them against the Bills. Bills are a better team, but Derrick Henry was just an unstoppable force. And the Bills had no answers, man. So Derrick Henry's going crazy, man. He's on pace for about 2,000 yards and over 20 touchdowns. This might be a record-breaking season. We got to look at him. If he keeps up this high level of production, he's going to end up being one of the best backs of all time, one of the best players of all time, one of the most dominating players of all time. Man, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on my notifications. And that's a wrap on SDMT.